I, I would probably say that I'm going to miss just the beauty of this place and, and uh, something that, that, that you feel when you just come right on campus, you know, that you feel something. And I'm going to miss that feeling. Whatever it is, I can't put it in words. Uh, that's what I'm going to miss. One of the benefits of moving to the quarter system is you get to see more of spring on, on campus. I always used to notice right at the end of the spring semester when you walk to the parking lot out by between Doherty and Cuneo that there would be a lot of trillium growing on a, on a sort of a, on one of the zigzags of the ravine. But the students typically were gone when that was happening. But now with the um, quarter system, you can point this out to students. Old Main is very significant. Um, it embodies the, um, the place that we know of as Barra College. I mean, in my mind, it's unthinkable to have a Barra College that isn't a part of Old Main, that isn't situated in Old Main. Well, I love the community room, but I think it's Old Main itself, which is, you know, um, a distinguished Georgian Revival building. It's quintessentially American collegiate architecture. It's the kind of style that appealed to small Catholic colleges in particular. It was designed by distinguished architects, you know, to make an impression on, you know, the girls who would be educated here. Um, you know, it's stately. It's majestic, you know, it's classical, it's, um, I don't know that I could define a, a room in the building. For me, it would have to be the building itself. The, the size, the size, hey, having everyone in one building and um, ev the administration in one building, you didn't have to go 20, 20 different buildings just to get to whom you needed, but um, the size really was and the beauty, just the, the whole, um, the art, the, the whole location, everything is really neat about the, the place. Oh, but most important, the chapel. That's one, you can, even if there wasn't a service, you can just sit in the chapel and you can just do something to your spirit. Even if you just had a bad day, you can just sit in the chapel. The main building, I loved how old it was and how uh, weathered it was. I think that was the most, the most striking thing about it and just how, not run down, I don't think run down's the word, but uh, there was a lot of, uh, at the time, there was a lot of character to the building. I think a lot of that's gone now, but there was a whole lot of character. There's still some, you just gotta go find it now. When I was 18 and finished high school, I had very little experience living away from home. I was frankly terrified of a large university environment. But um, over time, it came to be one of the most important places in my life. That it was a beautiful place um, and uh, kind of um, a, a secret, though. I, I know that most people that I'd talked to about the college, even people who lived in the area, would call it Barrett. Barrett College. And that was one of the first things that I learned when I came here was that, no, no, it wasn't Barrett. It was Barra. I guess I guess the library um, I like the best. I just have a lot of um, nice memories about the library. It's different now, you know. This the ceiling is different, but the the uh, the canvas ceiling in the other room, the, the, what's now the community room, um, and and just the shelves and and this this catwalk, you know, is really neat. If people I know come to visit me at work. I always take time to take them to the chapel, to show them the chapel, and to show them the ceiling that, you know, was recently uncovered right outside the um, chapel. The chapel. It is uh, truly one of the most magnificent acoustic rooms in America. And it is a work of art, uh, visually as well as sonically. The crispness of the foliar, the leaves, changing colors coming down, uh, just the whole ambiance of being at a college in the fall at the beginning of an academic year, where unlike the, the regular seasons where life begins in the spring, um, in academics life begins in the fall. And the sense that it was the beginning of something new, something great for them because they were new to the college, uh, something that would begin their journey through their years here. So I always like the image of, of the fall, the fall at Vera. 
That library uh, is beautifully designed. It's beautifully designed within the whole uh, context of the campus. It's a library that speaks very strongly about books, about learning, and about technology and access. Access for the students and the faculty to uh, books, papers, magazines, and all of the uh, internet.